faith and hope in eternal life. Let us assist her with our prayers. Let us pray to the Lord also for ourselves. May we who mourn be united one day with our sister Cecilia. Together may we meet Jesus Christ when he who is our life appears in glory. Lord Jesus Christ, by the three days you lay in the tomb, you hallowed the graves of all who believe in you, and so made the grave a sign of hope, that promise of resurrection. Grant that our sister Cecilia may sleep here in peace until you awaken her to glory, for you are the resurrection and the life. Then she will see you face to face, and in the light you will see light and know the splendor of God. For you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Because God has chosen to call our sister Cecilia from this life to himself, we commit her body to the earth. For we are dust, and unto dust we shall return. For the Lord Jesus Christ will change our mortal bodies to be like his in glory. For he is risen, the firstborn from the dead. So let us commend our sister to the Lord, that the Lord may embrace her in peace and raise her up on the last day. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Almighty God, through the death of your Son on the cross, you destroyed our death. Through his rest in the tomb, you hallowed the graves of all who believe in you. And through his rising again, you restored us to eternal life. God of the living and the dead, accept our prayers for those who have died in Christ and are buried with him in the hope of rising again. Since they were true to your name on earth, let them praise you forever in the joys of heaven. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Bow our heads and pray for God's blessing. Merciful Lord, you know the anguish of the sorrowful. You are attentive to the prayers of the humble. Hear your people who cry out to you in the need and strengthen their hope in your lasting goodness. Eternal rest grant unto her, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon her. May she rest in peace. And may her soul and the souls of all the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Cecilia, may the peace of God, which is beyond all understanding, Keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of His Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. May Almighty God bless us this day, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Okay. Ha <laughs> ha
at the quiet streets of heaven. All alone, somewhere in the night, Jesus stopped from him. For the nights are calling low, for the day are calling slow. I want to walk to the day till the knees are done. When no one sleeps at the calling streets of heaven, no one going home all alone. Somewhere in the night, Jesus walked the people, take out of the homeless. Now there's a lady dressing her, putting all cans in a box. As the rain begins to fall, down in rain. Hallelujah. Oh God. There's a lady dressed up, putting all the cans in the box. As the rain begins to fall and rain, there's no room left at the door when she became a Christian. So they lay by the sidewalk. When no one sleeps on the falling streets of heaven, no one going home all alone. Hallelujah. As my sister lit rest this afternoon, she's been a very good friend and a dear friend. I just feel that I should say something on her behalf. I hate to say it now, but I always used to say it to her. Because I don't want to be a hypocrite when somebody died to say she was good or she was bad. I want to be real and I'm always with her in the real. I know she was a kind woman, jovial woman, likes to laugh. And one thing I know for a fact, she would do some good pay laugh. I would leave castries and come up to pay for to eat her pay laugh. But today as she lay in her tomb, I wonder if somebody remember her love to say she was loved. I know that we all will leave her here today, irrespective of how we may cry. But when we're ready to leave, we're going to leave and she will be here alone. But I want to encourage the family this afternoon. Your mama, your sister, your daughter, your auntie, her legacy was so I know, baby, I used to eat the pillow when you cook it so. Very well. But I come to tell somebody this afternoon to be encouraged. Uh, I, I cannot do the funeral because it's not done. But death is silent. I heard the man of God said at the church this afternoon that if God called, what would he say to me? But I want to tell you this afternoon before I leave your face. If Jesus was to walk to you right now, what would you say to Jesus? Cecilia never knew that she would die. Mm. She had plans for the morrow. She wanted to see her grandchildren here at these three nice little dolls. They're pretty. Ah. I will miss her pillow. Let me talk about the pillow because it was good. I will miss that pillow. And that fried fish and salad. No, just the pillow. I like the pillow. The fried fish was good for the salad. But people, death is silent. I want to encourage you this afternoon to stay focused with God. Have I been leaving you this afternoon then you heard that Pastor Harrison died? You might live here and I might hear the people that were by the cemetery had an accident, God forbid. But let's take life serious. Some of us think we are all that and we are nothing. I heard the book of Matthew say is that we are so much of ourselves. We got to give God the praise, the honor, and the glory. Hallelujah, that's what we have. I am right now in the book of Hosea. We say, 
there are people that destroy for the lottery. I'll tell you this afternoon. We might cry, we might scream, but it's already been done. Let us examine ourselves. Let us take the inventory of ourselves. People, I love the Lord. I love the Lord. And I love you too. God bless you. Amen. Amen.